And we'll start with our warm up and see where we are from there. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead. Get those knees going towards your second toes. Remember a little roll in through the legs so that you're not spreading your feet apart. Sitting bones toward the fore, core activated, lengthening up through the spine, shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling. Take a moment, just breathing in, energy and awareness. Exhaling stress and tension. Spread your toes, sink evenly into your feet. Inhale, bringing your arms to shoulder level, but keep your shoulders down. Hands to your heart, stretch out to the front, and then clasp your hands behind you. Press the hands toward the floor and lift your heart, stretch your head back, shoulders down, and then pivot at your hips, exhale on over. And just as deep as you want to go today, spread your toes, hands toward your head, Move your chin around, get your neck released. <laughs> Bend your knees a little. Work your way back slowly to the top, from the bottom of the spine all the way up. And again, upper body back good with that chest high. Just lengthen through the back of your neck. Don't crunch it, shoulders down. And then on an inhalation, come up and release your arms. Take a moment just feeling your body. Focusing inward. And then again, arms to shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, keep those shoulders down. And then clasp your hands the opposite way, so shift them over one position with the fingers. And lift your heart. Nice back bend, and then pivot over as you exhale. And again, just deepen as much as you'd like. Take a moment, bringing your hands toward your head a little bit more so those shoulders release. Knees slightly bent, and again, from the bottom of the spine, wind all the way back to the top. And another upper body back bend, the chest up, and the head back, shoulders down. Take a breath or two there, and then on an inhalation, come up, and release. Spread your toes, stretch your spine, and we'll work the sides. So bring your arms to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp your hands, bring your arms back by your ears, spread your toes out, and lean over to one side without a twist. So make sure you're not leaning that top shoulder forward. Push the foot you're leaning away from down for that extra side stretch through the ribs. Feel the spine moving side to side. And inhale, coming up. Switch your hands, bring your arms by your ears, and go to the other side. <clears throat> Again, head and hands reach away from that foot on the outside, pushing down. Ribs are opening. And then again, coming up, shoulders stay down as you bring your arms back to shoulder left, or back to your sides. Boom. Shoulders back and down. Feel your sides a little bit more open, and then open your spine for our twist. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows. Stretch your spine, so sitting bones down, base of the skull, and crown up. Exhale and turn to the side in a twist and breathe, and then exhale over. So stay in your twist, but keep the weight on both feet evenly. Keep your arms next to your ears. Pull your head in towards your leg. Lift your sitting bones maybe a little more. And then in the twist, work your way back up, keeping the weight still on both feet and lifting your heart. Upper body back then, especially when you're twisting. Lengthen out through the crown, shoulders dropping, elbows back. Let's let the heart rise toward the ceiling. Inhale up, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. And again, pull your arms by your ears and stretch the spine apart to twist to the other side. And again, breathe in, toes spreading, feet evenly distributing your weight as you exhale over. And again, just deepen as far as you want to go. Keep your arms by your ears. Keep the weight on both feet, and again, in the twist, work your way back up, 
and into that upper body for your left foot. Shoulders down, elbows back. Don't forget to breathe. And then inhale and come to the top. Exhale around to the center. Keep your shoulders down, but bring your fingertips up. So extended mountain, sink evenly into your feet. Pull those ribs in and up. That core supporting your spine. Shoulders down, reach the fingertips high toward the ceiling, crown up, shoulders still down. And then turn your hands out and swan dive forward, arms at shoulder level, come parallel to the floor, stretch everything straight, feel what your body is doing. And then drop into ragdoll and just and let that upper body just be limp. And then if you want more, you can put your hands behind your ankles and pull in a little bit more. Knees bent, hands back to the center if they're not. And then one more time, and the sitting bones all the way toward the top, wind back up, shoulders back and down, and into mountain pose once more. Feel all that stimulation from our warm-up. And just lengthen through your spine. Let's turn the toes out. And we'll do a little knee bending. So remember, if you got knee issues, just be gentle. We're gonna push the sitting bones slightly back, bring your hands above your knees, and just squat a teeny bit, and then come back up, hands to your hips. If your knees don't bother you, go ahead and exhale, bring your hands all the way down to the floor between your feet. So a little bit more knee bending, but remember, your knees don't go beyond your toes or they overwork, so push those sitting bones behind you more. And then inhale, coming back up, hands to your hips, legs straight. And just a few times, exhaling as deeply as you want, and then inhaling back up. So feel your body, breathe with it, exhaling and inhaling, exhaling down, inhaling up. Just bring your hands to your hips, letting that heart expand to come up. A little bit of crunching in those abs as you go down. And just notice what your body is doing and then warming up. And then the next time you're up, just pause at the top, turn your toes back to the center and release back into mountain pose, just feeling that stimulation a little bit more through your body. A little bit warmer, reach your crown toward the ceiling. And let's bring the arms up and around, get the shoulders releasing a little bit. So just bring your arm in close to your ear and bring the whole body into that range of motion as you bring the arm up, around, back, and down. And then the other one, of course. And just feel the shoulders getting a little bit more loosened. And then release. Bring your arms to T position. Stretch out through your fingertips. Turn your palms up and circles. So keep the fingertips reaching out, the crown reaching up, the core active, so ribs toward your spine and up, and feet spreading out through the toes, evenly distributing your weight on them. And then small circles, feel the difference. And then stop, palms down, go the other way. Reach out through the fingertips the whole time, up through the crown. And again, small circles. And stop. Stretch it out. Turn the palms up. Bring your hands overhead. Look at them. Swan dive forward. Exhale, pivot at the hips parallel to the floor. And drop into rag doll. Let the shoulders release. Kind of move them up and around. Circle them. Just letting your arms drag down. And then circle them the other way. And then just back to the center. Bend your knees slightly and again wind from the bottom of the spine back to the top, shoulders back and down into mountain pose. And then again, turn your toes out, knees going, of course, with your toes toward your second toes. Bend your knees slightly, hands above your knees again, no pressure in your hands, remember. We're going to do a little twist, bringing the shoulder across toward the other knee. It's not going to go there, don't worry. 
Exhale, bring the shoulder across, putting, pushing the sitting bones slightly back and across the opposite direction. Feel that slight twist. And come back to the center. And go the other way as you exhale. And again, the hips come toward one side as the shoulder goes toward the opposite knee. And then back again to the center. Round your back. Crunch in a little bit through those sitting bones. Put the chin in toward your chest. Feel that whole spine rounded. And then inhale, bring the chest forward and the sitting bones back. And then exhale, tuck the chin, round slightly, and inhale back up, turning your feet to the center, back into mountain pose. Just take a moment, feel your spine a little bit more activated, and don't forget to breathe. Base of the skull, base of the spine, stretch apart, and we'll do our little wind yoga as gentle yoga today, moving side to side, following your hands. Take a breath, exhaling, deepening as you get toward the back. Keep the crown reaching up. And coming back to the center, bring your arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. We'll do that side stretch. So up on the opposite toes, lifting the heel. So the side you stretch, that foot stays flat and those ribs open a little bit more. Stretch it way high. And then exhale that side down, inhale the other one up. Again, lifting the heel, pressing the foot, you're stretching down into the earth as you reach those fingertips toward the ceiling. Feel that shoulder open a little bit. Exhale down, inhale, stretch it up. And down, and once more up. And then bring both arms up, both feet down, both shoulders still down. Keep the arms by your ears, pivot at your hips, bring that body, body parallel to the floor. Stretch the sitting bones, crown and fingertips away from each other. And then drop in your ragdoll hanging. Palms together, inhale, coming back up, hands to your heart, all the way toward the ceiling, thumbs back, a nice little upper body back then. Exhale, hands to your heart, and again, pivot on over into ragdoll. Just hang a moment, deepening a little bit further into that. Lift your sitting bones, straighten those legs, knees toward your thighs, tighten the thighs. Let the hamstrings on the back of your leg get a little more stretch. Slide your hands up under your knees. Straighten everything, knees, elbows, and spine. Stretch it out. And then as you exhale, come on all the way to the floor, into our child pose. Transition. Hips to your heels. Hands, palms up. We're head in. Take a breath. Just relax. And then bring your arms out in front. Shoulder width apart, plant your hands. Pivot up onto your hands and knees and slide your hands just a little bit forward. We're gonna go up into down dog. So feet hip with knees hip width apart, feet straight back from them. Tuck your toes under. Slide back onto the base of your toes, lifting your knees just off the floor. Pull your chest all the way toward your thighs. Arms are next, your ears are next to your arms, and then push your hips straight up, sink your heels toward the floor. They may not make it, that's okay. Pull your chest in toward your thighs, and you reach your head toward your hands, and you should be in that perfect V shape with that pivot right at your hip joint at the top of the thighs. Heels going down, sitting bones going up and back, and crown reaching toward your hands. Take a breath, lift your heels, come up on your toes, on the base of your toes, not the toes themselves, remember. Slowly bring your knees back to the floor. So 
toward those toes back and sink your hips towards your heels. Bring your forehead down toward the floor into extended child pose. Relax through the shoulders. Keep those hands out there. And then inhale, come on up and into table position. So get those wrists under your shoulders. Remember, you can circle your wrists anytime, or you can fold your mat and bring the heels of your arms up a little bit so that bend isn't so intense. So take a moment. We're only going to be here briefly. Get that core activated, supporting your lower back and those knees right under your hips. We're going to do puppy. So remember, our puppy is a playful puppy that tail is going to stay up in the air. So bring your elbows down where your hands were right under your shoulders with those fingertips going straight in front. Take a moment to breathe. Feel that puppy tail up in the air. And then slide your chin forward, your chest forward towards your hands. You can go all the way to the floor if you want to. And just wag your puppy tail around a little bit. Maybe circles in the air one way and the other, or just side to side, whatever's feeling good for you. And then pushing just gently into your hands, slide your hands back into table, shoulder blades, shoulders towards your waist, ribs up towards your spine, supporting your back, and sitting bones and crowns stretching apart. Take a moment. Circle your wrists if you need to, and into line. And then we're going to put the thumbs inside and put the ring part of your fingers down toward the floor, coming into a slightly different version with those arms in table position. Again, just sitting bones and crown, reach away, ribs up, and then bend your Wrists again, palms down to the floor. Just feel what's going on with your wrists as you do that. And then again, sink your hips back toward your heels. Slide your hands forward. Bring those arms down toward the floor. Forehead toward the neck. Take a breath. Just relax. And then inhaling again, come on up into table. So we're going to work the shoulders a little bit more. So come again, with the elbows down, hands sliding forward. Knees are under the hips. And then we're gonna bring the left elbow behind the right elbow, the left hand behind the right elbow. Slide the right hand forward as you push your hips back toward both feet and sink your forehead down toward your forearm or further toward the floor. Feeling that shoulder on the right arm open a little bit more. So really plant the palms of the right hand. Sink those hips back further toward the heels as much as they want to go. And just feel that shoulder area open a little bit more. Take a breath. Just relax through your shoulder. And then inhale the head up. Slide the elbow back under your shoulder. And flip that other hand out. So that we can do that same thing one more time. So take your right hand behind your left elbow, slide the left hand forward, plant that palm down, sink your hips back, bring your forehead down toward your forearm or further toward the floor if you love it, getting that shoulder nice and open. And again, as far as you want to go into that stretch for your shoulder, just relaxing, letting it sink toward the floor as much as your body wants. Take a breath, just relax and into it. And then inhale, head up, elbow back into place, the other arm going out. And one more time, sink back, forehead to the floor, coming into wisdom pose, forehead all the way down to the mat, as much as you can do with those arms extending out, with those shoulders opening. Take a breath, hips back towards your heels, forehead toward the floor, palms are planted, shoulders are sinking down. Take a breath, just relax. And then inhaling, sit up and slide off, bringing your legs to the end of the mat. Coming into staff position, 
Press out through the bottoms of your feet, heels, out toes, pulling back, knees, kneecaps towards your thighs, tighten those thighs, putting the back of your legs, get a good stretch. Core active, so ribs towards your spine and up, shoulders back and down, ground to the ceiling. Activate that core as you roll slowly onto the floor. Imagine the sacrum first. You can pause there using that core if you need a little core work today. Bottom ribs, shoulder blades, and finally the shoulders coming down and the hands near you. Palms up for reclined integration. So get everything nice and comfortable. Toes slightly toward each other there so that everything goes up toward the ceiling with the bottoms of the feet pressing out. And then bring your hands to T position. Shoulders down. And keep your hands, palms down or up for this one. Just going to do our bent knee twist. So sitting bones toward your heels, bring the heels in near your hips, and flat. Just give yourself a little press down through that lower back. Hands, palms up or down, knees above your hips, feet off to the floor. You can keep them next to each other, or if you want a little more low back twist, you can cross your leg over the other one and roll it off to the side. So the knee is coming down to one side, turn your head toward that opposite arm. Keep those shoulders as far down toward the floor as you can so that middle back is in the twist also. Knees down, lower back twist, head turning, neck area twist. Shoulders down, middle back twist. Do what's right for your body, always your personal practice. Deep breaths, just relaxing. Going only as far as your body wants. And then hips toward your heels and roll onto your back. You've got your legs crossed, uncross and cross the other way. Otherwise, you just keep those knees above the hips. And once again, we're rolling to the other side with the knees and turning the head the opposite direction. And again, coming into your twist, do what's right for your body on this side. Keep those shoulders down as much as you can. Notice one side may be easier than the other. That's not unusual. Remember, we're creatures of habit. And everything gets used the same most days. So in yoga, we try to balance it out evenly. So just let those knees come as far as they want on this side for that lower back. And turning for that neck area. And shoulders down for your middle back. Breathe deep. Just relaxing all that tension out from your body. And then again, heels toward your hips slightly as you roll onto your back, come across the legs, bring the feet to the floor, straighten things out. Bring your hands next to you, palms down. We're going to do a little bridge before we do our relaxation. So keep those feet hip width apart, rolling in at the top of the thigh so those knees face straight up. Rest your whole spine down, sitting down slightly toward your heels, with that back connected to the floor as you exhale. And then inhale, lift your hip bones straight up toward the ceiling. Keep those knees straight up, not flopping apart. Press into your hands, bring up onto your shoulders a little bit more, but make sure you're not on your neck, only on the back of your head and shoulders. Lift those hips, nice little back bend, as much as you like. Take a breath. And then exhale, release the shoulders, come onto your shoulder blades, and then your lower ribs, and then your whole spine down. Slide the legs out, turn the hands, palms up, toes slightly toward each other, and relax. You feel that hip area, lower body soften and sink. Move those shoulders around, and let them sink down toward the floor as well. Move your jaw, your chin, soften your face and your throat and your neck. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, just blow it out. Breathing in deep, exhale. And up. first your lips make a straw shape. Exhale deeply. Let's do that a few times, breathing in, 
exhale and empty. Just let your body soften and sink as you do that, deepening into that earth down connection. Let everything go. As your body gets softer and heavier, just let it sink into your earth support and allow your awareness to release any thoughts of your body. Just let it relax. As other thoughts come to your mind, just let them go as well. No need to focus on the content of any thoughts. Just let it drift away as easily as your breath. As your breath deepens and your thoughts float away, just know that there's no need to think of any content of your thoughts. Let your body go. Let your awareness release any content of your mind. And just deepen your awareness inward. Focus on the peace within. Deepen into it and be peace. If you have time to keep relaxing today, just take all the time you want. If it's time to prepare for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, adoring your body. Begin moving your body gently, however it feels right for you today. As you breathe more fully, stretch more completely. When you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, Setting those towards your heels, draw your heels towards your hips, and your knees towards your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug for your yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you've had a good, sufficient appreciation and hug, head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.